What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make a simple photo mode. So basically, you pause the game, you go into a spectator flying camera and then you go into the angle that you like and then you would basically take a snapshot of what that camera is viewing and then save it. So probably this tutorial will be split into two parts. This is the first part where we'll go ahead and set up all the movement for the uh, flying camera and starting with the render texture and stuff and how we can uh, enter the mode and exit the mode and then in the second part we'll finish it by making the actual snapshot and saving the texture and so on. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. But first check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright so the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and create our flying camera. So Unreal Engine will actually do it very easily for us because there's actually a blueprint already created. So if we right click and go into blueprint class, we can search for spectator and then we can see that we have a spectator pawn. So let's go ahead and select this and now we can name this BP underscore um, photo cam. And then we can go ahead and open this. Now right now, we will not need to touch anything on here later on of course, but there's some few things that you can change. For example, if we go into the movement component, you can change the max speed, the isolation, the desolation, and so on. So, you know, you can like adjust it into your, um, how you want to be. All right, so now let's go ahead and open up our third person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you're using. Let's go ahead and find a nice place in the event graph. And let's go ahead and say, for example, when we, I don't know, you know, press H. Do you know when we press H, we'll go ahead and go into this mode. Now, you can also go ahead and create a proper input. That is what we're going to do. So, go into content, go to third person, go into input actions, right click, and let's go into input and create a new input action. So, now we can name this EA underscore, you know, photo mode. And let's go ahead and open this. And now we can actually go and close and open this, the collection. So, now we can add. A new input and this is going to be our photo mode and then we can now assign a key which it was h go ahead and save we can now get rid of this h and now put in here as a proper input uh, photo mode ea photo mode the first one with the arrow and then in start it we can go ahead and do our transition so what we want to do is go ahead and spawn an actor from class in this case it will be well the um, the photo mode camera so BP photo cam and then the spawn transform we want to spawn it in a seamless transition so to do this what we can do is get the actual follow camera um, position and you spawn it in there so if we go ahead and get the weld uh, transform and directly plug it in on here it will basically just spawn in the same exact position as the camera in that position so you know there will not be a transition let's go ahead and put always spawn um but try to uh, adjust location so it will always spawn it but if there's an obstacle it will move it the camera so we can go ahead and have now if i were to compile and press play you will see that when i go and press h nothing happens <laughs> the thing is that it actually went ahead and created the camera if we search here photo cam there's actually one in the scene which just spawn if, if I press H again when I go back into the game you will see that now there's a second one so the thing is that we need to go ahead and possess the camera so to do this we can just go ahead and say get player if I know how to type player controller and then we can go ahead and get this node which is uh, possess so now in in pawn what we can do is pass on this um, camera spectator camera photo cam however you want to call it that we have just spawned so basically possessing an unreal is controlling so we'll go ahead and control that camera so now if i press play and then press h you can see that now i can go ahead and go flying with my spectator flying camera so now i'll go ahead and you know get in the position that i like and then i'll you know in the feature make a snapshot a capture and save it as the texture etc so let's go ahead. go ahead and save all this until now. So what we want to do now is be able to go back into our third person mode because now if I press play and then I press H, I can fly around. But then when I press H again, it didn't do anything. <laughs> so 
what we have to do is go into our uh, photocam blueprint let's go ahead and open it in full editor all right and now what we want to do is delete all this except for the begin play and what we want to do is basically initialize the input so we really can just go into the event graph of the character player and then literally just copy and paste this notes so <laughs> this is exactly what we're going to do so go and paste this as you can see this will not change anything of the inputs it will work perfectly it will just go ahead and add more inputs so in our case now we can access our photo mode okay so we are assigning our, our inputs so now what we want to do is go ahead and possess back again our player so what we can do is go ahead and get the player controller and then of course you can instead of making an input you can again go and find the h key and then put it here but i prefer to do it as an input okay anyway let's go ahead and get the possess node and what we have to do is basically find the pawn so we can just go ahead and get the player character so now instead of actually directly getting the player uh, character what we are going to do is actually go ahead and get actor class and we want to go ahead and get our third person character that will be in the scene so now we can plug this into the impound and then what we want to do right after is go ahead and destroy the actor so we'll have no more a longer an actor so now if i press play i can move around press h go to my drone then press h again and go back into my player all right so we can go ahead and put a you know select everything press c and then we can put a comment so for example and um, back to a uh, normal uh, mode for example all right so now we can get started by actually going ahead and setting up the render texture so if you have seen my minimap tutorial maybe some of this will sound similar but we basically have to go into our photo cam blueprint and add a capture a scene capture 2d all right so this will be basically a mini camera <laughs> okay it's not a mini camera but to explain a bit better this is basically a mini camera that will basically save what is seen into a an, a, an texture an image okay so you can change the projection type the field of view over here and stuff and some past processing effects but we want to go down into the scene capture uh, section and the first thing we want to disable capture every frame and then capture every movement this is because we're only gonna be taking some snapshots so we don't have any reason to be always capturing right so another thing that we want to do is create our texture target so let's go ahead and select it and then we can go ahead and create a new asset so let's go ahead and create a render target now you can say whatever you like in my case in here it's gonna be okay and then i can save it as um well yeah yeah minimum uh, photo photo mode mode tight uh, yeah okay photo mode texture render tight a long name but yeah whatever it's okay you can put whatever name you want so now you see that we have a new texture and it's actually previewing a black screen this is because it's actually previewing our level now right now the level that is previewing is well the let's say the the blueprint so there's nothing that's why it's black now you remember that we unticked capture every frame so you're probably saying how is capturing right now well it did it just one time and it started so it captured real quick what was in here which was just the blueprint environment anyway so now what we want to do is go to the bank graph and be able to take a snapshot so you have two options here again you can do left mouse button or we can go ahead and create properly an input which is what we're going to do so go into the uh, third person input actions right click input and action ea snapshot all right and then we can go back into the uh, collection and then add a new mapping and this will be our snapshot and then we can say it's going to be the left mouse button so we can now go back into our camera and get our snapshot ea snapshot again with the arrow and then what we want to do is on started we want to go ahead and get our scene capture component to the and then we're gonna use this node which is capture scene and this will basically go ahead and capture it so you will see how it looks in a second so now if we press play you can see that i can go with my character go into h 
then go around and then left click then exit and when i hover over the texture you can see that it actually updated now you will see that the orientation is wrong the camera is facing another way this is because basically the camera is turning but not the whole actor itself therefore the children which is basically the scene captured component is not rotating in order to just show you what is happening i can just add an arrow and then i can just put um hidden in game to false so let me just quickly put this to false and then compile press play and then press h you can see the camera is there but when i turn the arrow doesn't turn as you can see so to fix this we can go into the photo cam we can go into class defaults and then if we search for rotation you can okay if i spell it right rotation you can see that we have use control rotation pitch i'm gonna take this and yo we're gonna take this pitch is gonna be basically up and down and your left to right the row we don't need it okay but now if i press play and go to edge you can see that now the arrow will follow left and right and up and down so now the basically the whole object and the camera will be orientating correctly so if i go ahead and press play onto the camera and the cool snapshot over here my player then left click and exit go here you can see now we have our player now it looks extremely bad don't worry in the next um episode we'll go ahead and fix all this and uh, go ahead and save it into an image uh so yeah until now i think we have done a great progress so if you found the tutorial helpful i really appreciate it you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials in this one so if you want to go ahead check them out and you know i have you know i i, I just opened the discord server so if you want to go ahead and join the link in the description also i'm working very hard to finish up the 10k subscriber special video it's gonna be out very soon hopefully so you know make sure to you know to to um, be aware, I guess. <laughs> so, with all that said, bye-bye.